What's up everyone, my name is Patricia Reines, innovation designer from Berlin and former creative resident. In this video I teamed up with Adobe talking about their latest release in Adobe XD because they just released the coolest feature ever which is called 3D transforms. This new feature enables us to prototype augmented reality prototypes with Adobe XD because now you can move elements in Adobe XD in three dimensions which is super cool and I'm going to show you how you can actually do that and how you can design your own AR prototype. So let's dive right in. You have everything already in your UI kit. Just place a random card on the artboard and then integrate the little 3D transform icon here on the side in the inspector panel. What you can see is the gizmo here and you can rotate everything. And what you see is on the side in the inspector panel, um, the um, numbers actually change. You can move that to the front, the back, but also to the side. And if you want to have that a little bit more precisely, you can just do the changes in the inspector panel. This is pretty cool, right? Not bad, I would say. So if you want to prototype, just copy the artboard, change an element slightly, for example, by rotating it. Click on prototype, go to the prototype mode and then uh, wire the two artboards together. Make sure that you have tap trigger, auto animate and then preview it. And what you see is if you click on the card that it moves from the left. And this also works for AR prototypes. And this is where the magic happens. I think this is super exciting for us as designers to be able to prototype our own AR prototypes. So you have this background already in your UI kit. Just place cards in this uh, on this artboard and we're going to use those cards and animate them in the back, so below the mirror. So first we are going to group those cards, put them all in one group, command G, and then we are going to name the group cards so it's easier for us to find it later. And now we can place them uh, where we actually want to have the augmented reality prototype. And what you can see is I have things in the foreground. So I just selected them in Photoshop, edited that, so the sync and everything. What you can see is here, they are in the foreground and the Z position is actually 110. We click on the cards, the Z position is zero right now. So it's behind that. Can tilt it a little bit so that it looks realistic. Great, that looks good. And now I want to have the one in the middle, in the front a little bit, because this is the one which is selected. And now I'm going to put in 90 to have it like super precisely and turn a little bit to the right, exactly. Now I want to animate the whole thing and I'm going to copy the whole artboard. So I'm selecting the one in the front, need to do that in the back and then set to original position. And now all of the cards are in the background and I'm going to select the one uh, I want to have in the foreground now, which is the light card and put that to 90. And after that, I'm going to get the whole group and move that a little bit to the side because I always want to have the selected one in the center. So in the next step, I'm going to the prototype um, mode. I'm going to select the button here because when you click on the button, you go to the next artboard, have tap trigger, have auto animate. It looks good from my side. And then I'm going to do the same with the other button to the other artboard. And now I'm going to click on preview. How does that look? Pretty good. So I already prepared the background for you, which is this living room with the lamp. We have two cards and we want to flip them. So we first put them above each other, use the align tool here so that it's super exact. They're right above each other. So what we are going to do now is to turn the one in the back 180 degrees. You could think about like two cards having above each other and if you want to turn it, the one in the background actually needs to be turned 180 degrees. And uh, we also need to put the one in the back to uh, minus one. 
the Z position and the one in the front to plus one position. Group them. Place the whole group in the artboard and then tilt it so that it looks really realistic. Great. Find the perfect position. That looks pretty realistic. And now we're going to integrate this little tab bar here. Also tilt it, turn it that it looks realistic because this is the input or this is the field where the user can actually click and turn the cart. Now we're going to um, copy the artboard and change the cart. So change the cart. So here the cart is actually um, turned. We're going to turn the whole car cart uh, 180 degrees and then we are going to change the uh, set position. So the one in the front is now uh, minus one and the one in the back is now plus one. So the other cart actually comes to the front. So now we are going to make the whole prototype interactive. So go to the prototype mode and connect the areas in the tab bar with the little wires. So you connect the different artboards here. But we also want to really change the light. Go back to the design mode and then uh, select the area where I integrated this little light and turn that uh, yellow so that's a little bit more realistic and looks pretty nice so we want a super warm nice yellow can't wait to see your prototypes in action so let's keep creating <laughs>